Good morning. I just popping in because the poster was released today, and also I just checked the um post where they post all the finalist pictures and stuff like that because I'm a competitive bitch. So let's let's get that out of the way. I enjoy understanding what people feel. The problem is, I sometimes internalize that. Why is my why my skill again? Zoe's leading was like the most likes. I think she has like thirty something likes. <laughs> And I know likes are not like a depiction of anything, but like it is important to remember that a lot of these people are probably going to come to the venue. So people's choice wise, Zoe is doing very fucking well. Um, I think second after is Larissa. And then I think it might be myself and um, Chloe. So this is just another lesson to not underestimate anyone in the fucking competition. Anyone. Because audiences do have a major influence on how judges perceive the contestants, whether we like to admit it or not. Um, but usually high energy audience reaction means top five. So I can predict Zoe to be in the top five already. Obviously I'm there. Let's call a space play. Chloe, I can see Larissa and hmm, maybe BB. I think that is my early prediction for top five. Also, that's also based on how I've interacted with the girls and stuff. So it's it's I'm not discrediting anyone's competition. Every anyone can, you know, sh mingle, jingle, wingo. But the point remains: the reality is, it's a competition. I'm currently just gonna go run a few errands and then I'm gonna come back home, um, to come and attempt to complete this headpiece, um, because once the headpiece is done, if I can get the headpiece done by tomorrow or painted at least by tonight. I will feel a lot better about life. <laughs> I'm still in tune to the competition. Don't get me wrong. I I have days where I'm just like, I shouldn't have probably done this. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it's because I've been a little bit productive yesterday. I feel a little bit um, more at ease. Because technically, I have two this week's rehearsal. Then the weekly after. Then it's judging. So I've got three weeks and I'm already ahead. But we're going to see how it goes because financially I'm fit. You know what I mean? But we'll we'll get it together, Katie, and we'll figure it out. But I have to go. Bye. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Woo! Woo! Hi. So it's Sunday, it's rehearsal today. You are, you are boss, my mood, my bro. My allergies are fucked today. I don't know why. But um, today's rehearsal, and I also have Keenan's party to go to afterwards. I hate that I have so much things to do. <laughs> I just want to come home and work, but like I can't even do that. But anyway, it's still for another day. I have not touched the headpiece since. Anyway, today's rehearsal, and I have to go to the party afterwards, like I said, but the gag is, I think I'm going to go in high haul, just to be a little bit messy and be competitive, you know, it is the last couple of of weeks um, left before the actual pageant, the girls have shown me their competitive side and how they compete, and look how cool my tattoos look, man! But yeah, they showed how competitive they are and how competitive they want to be. So, maybe it's time for me to, to do the same. Uh, the party later is like this more evil theme. So I've got like this shirt thing that you've probably seen before, but I'm going to wear that because it's giving very, you know, that bitch that work at the taverns, at the inns, you know what I mean? But with a punkish edge to it. You know what I mean? I just have to find an allergic or something somewhere in this house because I can't sound like Miley Ray Cyrus the whole day. Okay, I'm checking if these lights work. She but she's so in a girl. Relax, I slice. I'm just trying to test these lights because I'm gonna be mad if I look hey Kingsley. If I put this bitch on and these lights are broken, I will set fire to the fucking rain. So this is one of my number one over there. Okay. The one half works. I only bought five patches because the budget is tight. But I'm going to just test the other pack. 
trying to bath this shit dirty. But that's such a good ass in the deli. Woohoo! Yeehee! This light, baby, this light. It's gonna work. Yo, I am again. I'm at Escobar because I'm early again and Marlon is swearing at me because naturally. Yeah, Where the fuck's your hair? Where's my hair? Mabel's hair? Oh, Mabel. Now it's grow up. Yeah, Mabel wants to be my twin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mabel wants to be my twin. Am I in your way? Yeah, I'll lead you if you want to push in the bucket. <laughs> Do I look like Justin Bieber? <laughs> yeah, Ina hasn't. I hasn't been in the pageant, like, uh, doing pageants, like, for I don't know how long. It's to be honest, no, today I came in these shoes and hair, yeah. yeah. stuff to intimidate the girls a bit further. Because it's competition so you know in, like, two or three weeks. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. And she actually said it, yeah, she told that, but I... But I didn't, I didn't play it up until today. She was like, nah, you know... You have a scissor? They feel... No, 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 cut it. I just want to shorten this, okay. yeah, this piece is... They were like, nah, nah, they feel intimidated by right? either. <laughs> I then I put my back in. <laughs> they feel intimidated by you with the... I don't know why, because I'm not purposely trying to like make anyone feel cut for any reason. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we what if I braid this actually? Let oh, me braid it. This is I I'm think I told you too much. <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging that you so, do, do sometimes overshare. And the that I, that now I didn't need to hear all of that. You think that's, that, 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 that was actually the... the that was actually the, the, the sweetness in being having a friend like you. But it's in the Iraq stove, you know. Because I, I, could, I, could, I could tell you everything. But no, if it's your own. Do you really take touch. me seriously, Ajad? But fuck. You push me. Okay, bring the scissors, Fanti. What are you doing now? Huh? I'm recording myself with the vlog. Give me a scissor, please. You let me go, my bro. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm selling pies, man. Oh, no, I don't have an oven. So let me just, there we go. Now for better, let me find out from these bitches where they are. There we go. Chloe. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Operation headpiece is still on way, on its way. I fucking know, but I'm gonna be cutting these leaves off because I like how thin they are, and they're very really light, and they already cut like leaves, so I don't have to fucking do that myself. So, but yeah, they, I only have like one string of this. It looks to be about three meters, so I'm gonna hope that this is enough leaves because I also don't wanna oversaturate the tree with leaves. It needs to be hinted. That they, they have leaves. It's a fucking tree. Clearly very Christmas leafy. I don't give a fuck. Girl, it's what I have. Period. Um, Manila actually found me earlier. Um, excited in the fabric store with some fabric that she thought would be cool for my evening wear. And God bless the two of them. God bless Barry and Manila. Just honestly, I love them so much. Also, just in case anyone's wondering how big of a nerd I am about Game of Thrones and just things that I do love, I'm watching people watch the show. We have a little bit of a graveyard over here and then 
that's all the leaves. It's quite a lot. I didn't know. And also, this was actually two the whole time. Okay. I'm a bit conflicted because I don't know if I must put the leaves on now while I'm doing the masking tape because I still have to varnish and paint the thing. So I'm not sure if now is now is the right time. Let me just do it. I just finished taping it together and it's dark because I want to show you what the light effects is going to look like eventually. But this is how it's looking. Most of the tape is on there i kind of have to just um neaten up some of them because i know they're gonna come loose because masking this masking tape is cuck but also i have to add a few more leaves is there a reason that you are attacking my comb sir anyway um this is how it's looking and i'm kind of not pissed at it like let me show you with the lights on like let me get a nice zoom there because maybe this can be the thumbnail that's the one side that's the other side. Ah! Why is it giving? Huh? Like, get into it, yeah? This is gorgeous. I'm very proud of myself. Holy fucking shit. Wow. <laughs> oh, wait. Always and forever, that's why we don't use mics. Manila is hateful, but she's also a good sis, because look at that waist. There we go. Should I wear a little e pad? A biscuit. A biscuit. <coughs> or you can just wear my pads. <laughs> <laughs> no, but your pads is not gonna. But well, I'll need my pads. Also true. But I need to make me new pads. I have a pair of pads that I don't use. It's big. It's masses vaccines the pants. I'm sewing my middle house. Ah. Ah. I'm sewing my swimsuit at Manila's place. So it's been so long since I've used it in dust and I feel like I'm brand new to this. But uh, it's been a day, let's just say that. So I, I don't quite like this color. It's not the vision, it's not the tea. So I bought this brown spray and let's see. That's a bit too dark, isn't it? I'm just gonna keep it like that for now because I'm not really less to spray it now. I just want to chill. I just got home. So I'm gonna kick off my shoes because I just spent 99 on this bottle. If this don't work, I wait. I actually went ahead and spray painted this brown. So the spray is quite dark. I'm not going to lie. It's it's quite dark. But I think it could also be the lighting. Um, But the issue now is... I mean, it's all cute and tasty. But I need to painstakingly take turbs and go and clean each and every single one of these lights so that they can pop again. It's giving mystery words. It's giving... It's cute. But it's not as effective as it was earlier. And I don't know if it's because maybe it's not dark enough. But I'm going to take turbs and clean the lights. Because I would prefer for it to be like a... You know? And I think at the end of the day, I'm just going... Because the leaves are also obviously now covered with spray. I'm not going to fuck with that. Like, I'm going to leave it on. I think the brown leaves give it a nice step. And I'm going to take... I have this plant outside. This um, bush... Um, that overgrows and knocks against my window. So she go get to chop before she come chop me. You know what I mean? She 
has beautiful leaves like look how nice and green and big those leaves are so i am going to use those leaves and just hot glue them the day of pre-judging um because yeah i'm gonna let that dry throughout the day um and i'm going to actually see if i can figure out something with my swimwear because i put the swimsuit on yesterday no baby no so i need to figure out what i'm gonna do or if i'm going to make a new swimsuit because i don't want to give up on the task before but i'm not gonna waste my time because it's wednesday is it wednesday the, the sunday coming is last rehearsal the week they're off is pre-judging the week they're off is the pageant i don't have time baby so yeah let me smoke copy and then take paint off my body <laughs> I hate Manila. Manila! <laughs> like, basically, that's not a, a baby. That's a wave. And that wave is crashing. <laughs> a full-on crash, my <laughs> thing. I'm literally standing here goop gagged. And I don't know what else. Because... This is my fucking themed way. I'm gonna make that. Or a version of it, because... And I'm gonna... <clears throat> Hi. Excuse my hair. Did I say that too much? Um, but I took my soul goes off, because like, the fumes of the spray paint is like, fuck me up. I... Go. So this is the internal structure. <laughs> I used some of the net stuff that I found in, um, in, what's the place, in Greenpoint to just like structure a nice frame thing so I can put like a duke over this with Velcro and stuff. Um, then I added like my first wig I ever wore in here. I'm not too sure yet about the wig. I don't like how dark it is in comparison to this. So I might use another wig of mine. But this is... This is pretty much how the headpiece is going to be put on. So I just have to like fasten it over here. Over the ears. So the elf ear idea is not going to work. This kind of goes in front of my forehead. And that is her. Qua, qua. Can you see how dim the lights are though? Like it's not even shining. But. This is how it looks, um, and it's kind of stable. I'm not gonna lie. I can't probably lean all the way to the sides or to the front, especially. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, and to the back. See, it's quite stable. I just need to be careful. I'm kind of happy with it. I am um, not too happy with the color scheme going on. I'm going to be honest. So I'm going to probably edit that a lot. Um, I'm really like not feeling well. I think it's the, um, my skin looks really nice today though. I think it's all the fumes and stuff. <laughs> so I'm gonna, let it Jay. Oh, like, I just want to show you something. So I'm doing the lights, I'm cleaning the lights and I'm scrubbing in my mood here with the fucking turpentine because that's, that's what I thought needed to be purchased. Tell me why the Q-Tex is doing the things. 
I think honestly, I've had enough of this headpiece today. My head is sore. These fumes are intense. I took off all the leaves, by the way, because they're brown. They're not giving that green, translucent kind of vibe anymore. So, I, I've had enough. Look, I have work today. I've got um, an early morning appointment tomorrow, so I don't want to get too tired it's still quite early in, um, in the day but i think i'm gonna work a little bit on swimwear guys switch to the wrong camera so <clears throat> this is the bodysuit at the moment it's giving shape of you yes <coughs> i saw this with manila's machine obviously the other day but it is a straight stitch and this is a stretch fabric so it is cracking and the seams are opening so i'm probably gonna have to go and reinforce every single one of them by hand i've already taken it in a little bit over here you can see this ugly ass hand stitch um so yeah i'm gonna probably do that with all of the stitches just reinforce it like i did the zipper i don't know if you can see the zipper at the back though let me check like, I mean, I did a fairly well job. This is obviously going to be covered up in beads and stones and shit, so it's not going to look like this. Um, but I like the shape. I just have to fix this panty because why does it look like I'm wearing a nappy? I'm tired. I've got this massive pimple. Um, I've sewn almost every single fucking seam by hand i'm gonna continue tomorrow there's like two or three of them that i still need to do um call it a night because i'm actually getting tired kingsley's got the notes already kingsley kingsley no no I'm gonna go to sleep. Salam, it's a new day in the workroom and I still have four call. Hi, welcome. My name is Wade. I'll be here all week. No, but legit though, like I've decided that the little bra things that I have that I was gonna use for swimwear, I think I'm actually gonna use it for my themed wear. The reason why is I had this bodysuit on yesterday for swimwear and I just didn't like the, how this looked as boobies. So I don't think it's going to work, but what I'm going to do is, um, this is Aisha, shout out to my best friend Aisha, this is her bra, look how twisted it is, but yeah, this was her bra for like Halloween last year, I want to say, um, I'm going to use it as the base, I'm going to cut a hole in here, and I'm going to put these little lights through it, so that it like is out there <laughs> does that make sense these and put that over it so there will be a light shining through which means it will accentuate these and then i'm going to make more of the branch moments and it's going to go into the bra and um yeah that's the vibes i'm i am gonna figure out the bottom of the outfit when i get there but let me first do project boob tube look how cool this is like this is how the bra is gonna look that's just like so dope like it's gonna look cool i also realized like i've been doing like a lot of like loss and fast videos just around preparation for the pageant and not necessarily talking about how my feelings um and yeah they are i firstly didn't want to bore anyone by just talking the whole time throughout this which is already what the vo this vlog has turned into because i'm not really showcasing the creative thing is because there's actually quite a lot happening at the same time and you'll see all of that but yeah i'm a little bit preoccupied um in terms of the pageant i'm grateful that manila and Barry are helping me out with my evening wear because i genuinely financially don't think i would have been able to do it on my own look at the dye on my arm um for swimwear i'm I'm worried about my garments. I think my main function now is to just get them done. Um, I'm sure the breaks of the rehearsals and stuff is cool. But on this rehearsal, it's going to be a lot better because we're going to get ready there. So that will be kind of cool. 
Um, but yeah, the point remains. I think I stand a very good chance of winning. Um, I just have to make sure that I deliver when I do present my themed way. Um, I want to win. I'm not going to lie. There was even a point where I was thinking, if I win, how punk would it be to just like reject the crown? <laughs> I mean that would be kind of fucking cool. I would I will do it, but like, I don't think that's gonna help anyone. <laughs> I think it's between myself and Chloe. A lot of the people are discounting me on social media. I'm not surprised because a lot of them don't know me, and I also they they don't see me fit into the stereotypical pageant scene. So they're making educated guesses here. Um, However, they are in for a surprise because they're going to expect me to be weird and be odd and different, which is cute, but I don't want to do that. I don't think I do. So I'm standing there, be honest. Uh, my neck and back are so sore as well. I have so much going on and I'm honestly a little bit overwhelmed. Um, So I'm just trying to like plot on my calendar what needs to be done and do it so i'm gonna call it a night i'm probably gonna be working a little bit more on my swimsuit or whatever and yeah we'll see how it goes from there assalamu alaikum it is sunday it is time for the rehearsal and yes i'm out of drag that is because the girls are doing like a workshop slash makeup get together vibe Rip. So we are just gonna get the lady there at the venue and yeah i'm excited because i like getting ready with other people it's fun you learn more about the person because their guards are down um when you're out of drag you're a little bit more vulnerable so i think people are more open to opening up does that make sense so i'm always excited to get ready with the girls and for that reason i have to go because my uber's here <laughs> bye <laughs> Easy call. Was so she was a show. And she got back. Yeah. Que que braço? Que braço? Que braço, meu E da crédito aí. Caga. Só de nome. Oh, you still recording? Oh, yeah, it's a recording of the recording. Hello. This is water. <laughs> <laughs> In a bumpy, maybe you're. Vodka bumpy. That's a vodka bumpy. If you're not having vodka bumpies on hot summer days, you are not. Are you just? Maybe you can imagine a hot vodka on a hot day. You're just took the wrong by two o'clock. By two o'clock, you're not a. I'm not a drinker, but I do enjoy socializing. <laughs> But also you're good for a opener because you're big and you If you if you insist. If you insist. But like I feel like you will be a good little opener because Jay Thai performance. So you can literally do anything and everybody must match your energy. There's no number down for you. <laughs> you staying as you think. <laughs> I feel like that was very pointed and very shady of him underlying because he did the same thing to Layla. In 2019, I will never forget. <laughs> <laughs> the light, the lights went out. <laughs> 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 You speak nothing if you speak nothing. Hi, Naeem. Hi. You know, it's us, Naeem. The Naeem. The only yeah. Naeem. I'm yeah. fired. you actually got back. That baby got back. You've got a big booty. Thank you. Uh, Macy say as Joshua Doe. Come on. 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 Come on
Liza Manelli. No, you are lying. I need to say it. I said it's a fading issue. So you have body. I'm a fat bitch. You're not a fat but bitch. Fat even. <laughs> look how you look, Chloe. Ni hao. Ni hao. Shall we? Nurse. You're like nah. The girl is a pussy. Let's see, Chloe. Chloe's doing a makeup herself. Look at her go. Larissa, Larissa, the girls. Oh, focus. Focus. Choi. Hey, I'm a i Hi Kyla! Hi Dolly, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? Alright. Another thing that is often misconstrued in our community is that Gender Dynamics is a trans organization. Gender Dynamics is not just a trans organization, it's a trans and gender diverse organization. Thank you. Thank you to Second Bite Caterers for getting the calls together. Second Bite. I'm, 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 I'm. But you see what is in the plate? Explain to the girls. Very fat. This that is fat inch. A stitch inches. Da, what they call block? Da, she go block in Russia. Come let's see. I did. I really enjoyed it. Dirty girls. Quack quack. Quack 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 quack. Girl, let me take this crack off my face. We done already done hair houses. So, where's the light today? Why does it look so Let me put it on the TV because maybe the lighting would look better. So, this was basically our final rehearsal today. Oh my god. Oh my god. She was on there. And honestly, if there's anything that came from this rehearsal, it's the fact that this truly is anyone's game. Chill. This truly is going to be anyone's game at this point. I don't think that there is a clear winner just yet. I think the top five is becoming more and more apparent. I truly see myself in the top five. Um, I think for me, it's just going to be a matter of not being so shy and afraid to be like perceived because I think that's like my weakness is that I'm still like a little bit cerebral about how I am perceived and I shouldn't be because at the end of the day I'm just supposed to express myself and yada 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 but expressing myself is not that easy for me um I feel more comfortable expressing myself when I'm with intimate friends, with a smaller circle, um, and comfortable with the people in my life. I think everyone who knows me personally has like a special kind of like vibe in the relationship that knows that I'm not necessarily the same person when I'm in drag. Um, drag is not that for me. I, drag is not that kind of ex escape for me. Is why I never related to people always saying that drag has changed my life or whatever. But I think that's... It has changed my life, but I just don't think I have the same perspective on how. So, when it comes to how I present myself, 
I think I'm very conscious of my insecurities, you know, of, and is this the right angle? Do I look nice? Do my teeth show in a weird way that I don't like? Or is my lash okay? You know, it's all very superficial, which is really funny because you would expect drag to kind of take those things away and it doesn't. And I always say to Manila, like one thing I, I envy about Manila is her ability to just completely not have any self-conscious attributes. Yeah, I just feel a little bit self-conscious about um, things in general. So today I realized I did try a little bit to, to forget about that, but it's felt so inauthentic, you know what I mean? Because I want to present myself, but I also want to present who I truly am. I don't want to like put on this um, y'all know who I am kind of attitude. So I really want to tap into a character because I feel like that might be easier. So if I completely throw myself into the delusion of being a pageant princess girl, like, you know, the stereotypes that they're like very, it's all of that. But if I throw myself into actually like being that elegant girl, I could possibly win. I just don't know if I have it like in me. And that's not just my inner saboteur that's talking out loud. It's more so just, I am also scouting the competition. Um, at, as it stands now, I see Chloe is one of my biggest um, competitions because Chloe has a... Chloe is what you see is what you get. Like, she's not scared of how she's posing, how she looks, if it's awkward or not. She's doing it because she wants to and she feels good doing it. So that's the attitude that I want to get into. You know, let the arm go there because you want it to be there. Don't worry about how it looks, but does it feel good? Because then it should look good. Does that make sense? Then I also look at one of the underdogs or the like the one that's going to come out the night of the pageant and just surprise everyone. That Gemma bitch. Like, there is an elegance and just a flow that Gemma has. It's feminine. It is naturally feminine. I don't know if that makes sense. I think Kat said it also earlier. It's very Miss, Miss Western, Miss South Africa. It's very... Uh, girl, and that's the game she's been in this whole week. Um, Week after week after week, she's been in that head game. And it's working because it's turning results. To looking at people like BB. BB's got a nice energy. Um, she also has nice proportions, so she's going to look good in whatever she has on. Um, and then Zoe as well, same principle, the proportions are just there. She's just tiny, just thin, and it's just going to look better on her. So what can I do to differentiate myself from them? I really want to channel, like, Miss Continental. You know what I mean? It needs to be so far and different from how I look. I literally just want to stand there and look like a waterfall, you know? That's my vision. Um, I want to soften it up. I want, it to, I want to smile. You know, those things that I'm too scared to do. Like, I'm very awkward posing from my left-hand side, but I've tried a little bit to that practice. Um, I'm trying to push myself to, um, you know... Work with the gown, work with the garment, and it's very difficult actually, but just take my time. A few pointers I picked up was people are taking their time when they are walking, so I feel like I walked a little bit too fast. Um, but finding that rhythm between like walking fast enough that it matches the music, but slow enough that you still give an effect, it's, that's difficult, so I think... I'm, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to practice a little bit here at home because I feel like once I look at myself and see myself and now I look, I'm probably going to fucking like cry. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to work a little bit on... Um, I'm really excited. I'm just exhausted, um, but 
I'm going to work a little bit tonight, so see you. Also, wait, can I just comment on the fact that like the questions are really throwing me for a loop because I I can talk, but the thing is my I, my brain is wildly overactive. You can ask me the most basic thing about how I am and it will take me a second to like think of an answer because my brain has to process how I truly am feeling in that moment. You know what I mean? Me just explaining this should be an indicator. My, I'm a rambler. So by the time I have done my rambling, I forget what the question is. So today they asked me, um, what was my opinion on the work that Gender Dynamics does? And I went on and explained because contextually it happened today. So I was like grateful that I could finally experience and see what it is that they are doing. But I never gave my answer to what my opinion is. You know what I mean? I gave the context, but no opinion. And I just need to be mindful of that. Chloe said that it, the best thing to do is to repeat the question to yourself. So if someone asks you, how are you doing today? And then you ask, hmm, how am I doing today? You generally think and answer the question. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to work on it. I'm, I'm scared, but here we are. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to this week's episode of this fucking pageant is gonna make me broke and put me on the streets. Just got back from the uh, Chinatown run for my themed wear. Got myself a Seattle Marco Freeze. She's the one. Now how I'm going to get through this day. Fuck the day this week, man. Really. Anyway. My main goal was to go to Bayside Mall in Tableview because A, I can take up my city and it's going to be cheaper and there's a massive Chinatown where I'm probably going to get anything. Or it's not a Chinatown, it's like a value, value co vibe. I get there, the motherfuckers are closed. Like closed down, not closed for the day, closed down because they're moving into another location in the mall. So I was like, okay, the date says September, so y'all must already done had yours. Go, I go to the fucking place where they say they're gonna be this fuck all. So already I'm just. Actually, let me just, you know what I mean? I get to the My City stop. Listen, why? The My City people are gonna catch these hands one day, my bro. Why is this bus stop so useless? I don't have credits. I couldn't scan myself in. Why is the kiosk always closed there? Clearly, I'm out of limit. Go! Let me just do drugs. As you can tell, this has been a lovely two hours. Stay hydrated. Hey, I had to fucking take an Uber, so they already, I'm already wasting money. Already. Anyway, get there. Shop doesn't exist. I'm quiet. Now I'm like, okay, what I can do is I can go to Table View, bus stop, load credits, and then take my city through into Parklands. Because where I used to stay in Parklands, there was like a China shop vibe, fiber and store vibe, two of them there. So I decided against that and I took a walk. So I took a liquor trap through to Parklands, got to that Chinatown, and they actually came through for the girls. Like I found most of my things there, and then I went to the other five rent store where I also got like my batteries and stuff like that, smaller things. And then I was in the vicinity, so I was like, let me go get my mocker freeze. Got my mocker freeze. So I was like, oh yeah, here's a Midas here. Stopped by Midas. Midas didn't have any motherfucking spray, nor did they have wire. Actually, I lied, they did have spray. But then I walked all the way around to another hardware store, which was, I think it was, I don't fucking know what the other hardware store is called. It's orange. Bold at that girl. That for call. So I had to walk to Buco. And then these like three little brats are trying to like get my last marker freeze. I told them, girl, it's hot. Leave me the fuck alone. You tell me I can give him a puss club. He just went a little. I, was, I will give you a puss club if you don't leave me alone. Anyway, that's off my chest. I found this cute little... Let's just see what I got. I got foil because I need that for the structuring. And I also got some LED lights. These ones, it says white. But I don't know how much we're going to see if this is white though. Also, why does... Why do the stores charge differently for all of these same exact branded sprays? Like this one was like 80 bucks. I think I... Or 90. I saw it in another store for like 150. Oh, you think just? Anyway, I got this because I was like, this will be nice highlights like on the branches because I feel like the branches are a bit too bland. 
So this will be nice. And then I got this um, like metallic silver because who wouldn't want a chrome fucking nail? Me some fishnets, girl, because whenever, listen, I'm telling you, if you watch my videos and you really are like, what can I give this bitch? You either give me some good shit, like shit, or you buy me fishnets because you can never have too many pairs of fishnets. Speaking of green, I got some green jewels as well because I realized I'm not accessorizing much for the themed way. So this is kind of cute. It's got a ring and it's got um, two earrings and a chain i think this will i almost poked my fucking eye out um this will be cute lashes also because my mastics fell on my lashes yesterday and now my lashes are like stuff um i got some white insulation tape which is slowly becoming my new favorite insulation tape no lies zip ties you know swirl coaster tape listen why is this tape 50 then like is this gonna hold down the fort when I'm not there? You know, like, what is this supposed to be? Like, why is, why is, why? Um, anyway, thank you to that guy, Buko, who helped me out with this one. And the spray, he's the OG, bra. He called me a bra, so he's my bra. <laughs> also, <laughs> I went to Jan Club. Also, as I was walking towards Buko, I actually um, found this little haberdashery kind of store. They're cuck expensive with their fabric though. Like, don't do it. But they have like these little orange and like brown stones, which are very ugly, but I feel like it will look nice to just spot stone some of the branches so that it doesn't look too branchy. I still want it to look like gay. <laughs> the weirdest thing happened, I walked into jam clothing like at the last minute because I was like, Debating whether or not I'm just going to do a tucking panty for themed wear or if I'm actually going to wear a panty. So I ran into jam clothing to see if they have underwear. And they did. But just picture this. I am like a 28 year old male going in to go buy a small ladies seamless panty. Do you know how weird that looks to people? And I'm still in a rush because my Uber's already waiting for me. But I got myself a seamless panty. I hope this fucking fits. Let me just slip into my comfy clothes and just figure out a, a plan of action for the day. Also, you see this little jacket thing. You'll probably see it next year. But it is... Let me show you. I'm supposed to have like movement and stuff. So I don't have a lot of movement. Um, These are all cassette tape jubikus. So it's a little crop jacket that I zip tie together because I don't have a sewing machine. Um, and I'm just literally crocheting it. I've only gotten like halfway up with all the thingies. So I still have to put all on all the spaces that you see. But look how cute she's going to look when she's done. It's going to be so cool. Let's do this. Uh... What's so Look at my floor looks. Look at how my floor looks. I want to show you what I've made so far because A, I'm kind of proud of it and B, I'm happy that there's more than just the headpiece. <laughs> A little cage dress um, that is supposed to like tie. I'm still having to like just clean out the bottom part of it. You can't really see it now because obviously I'm not naked and I'm not about to get naked. It's cold. Um, so yeah. This is the base. Um, the bra will obviously be placed here, and I might make a cage for the like a collar cage. I'm not sure yet, but this is this is my base garment for my themed wear, and it's all made out of zip ties and some cheap ass mesh fabric that I found in the road in Greenpoint. This technically means that so far. This cost me 20 rand. Yup. Resourceful. Yeah, I, I, I'm Look here. No, no, no. Show the size. No. <laughs> but he said, I'm gonna get cancelled. But you see, why would you ever come to Vanilla? I always leave like this. But you see, it's giving baggage. It's giving. Butch. 
No more. Away. But you see, I came to come steal my little stuff. Oh, my stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But she got your back. What did she have to say? Mm -mm. <laughs> my see. I just want to show you. Manila gave me the advice to like spray paint the cage gold. Excuse me? Anyway, I just wanted to show you that for a second. Like, tell me it looks great, right? Just wow. Like, I'm learning to listen. <laughs> Let me clean up because I'm filming today. So another project so let's just say that so let me get my shit together bye we are on my way to beefcakes i know this is my most sovereign vlog but my sister's here let's celebrate her one second so <laughs> <laughs> why are you being so hi and cheryl is a geese say hi cheryl three girls hi who is live no it's uh, it's for my vlog for my oh. most sovereign vlog you reckon it's also from my vlog 